Um, I was just sitting, well, I guess I was driving in the car, and I was just thinking about things such as ambition, passion, motivation, kind of why I personally do things and what I actually find fulfillment in. And I realized, and it took me a really long time to figure this out, but there's not like, it's, I don't view passion as like, oh, I want to draw. Okay, I, I like drawing. That doesn't mean I need to do that all the time, right? What I've found that actually fulfills me the most is doing things I don't want to, okay? Not in like a sab- self-sabotage type of way. I mean more of a, a proud, you didn't want to do this and you just did it. And here's the thing. I was also thinking about how um, people people want to know how to do things before they actually start to do them. You know, whether that be start a business, go get fit and go to the gym. For example, I'll have people tell me, hey, you know, I don't I don't exactly know how to lift, right? So I don't go, you know, I don't, I don't know what to do, right? And here's the thing, when you're trying to do something, you're trying to hit a, an objective, you, you're not gonna know. And nobody who goes to the gym knows what the hell they're doing for years of being at the gym. I don't even know what I'm doing now. And honestly, I, I only started to learn as I went because I saw other people at the gym. I was seeing what they were doing to lift. Actually, that's seriously how I've learned every single workout that I, that I know I'd say is other people at the gym. And I would never would have seen that if I didn't just walk into the gym years back, right? And I still wasn't doing everything right. You know, if you want to get into shape, there's there's multiple parts to it, like uh, sleep and letting your body, you know, regenerate the actual workout itself, and then also dietary, right? What you're putting in your body to feel your muscles. And I wasn't really gaining much weight when I was going to the gym, even when it was slightly consistent. And I'm not going to say it was insanely consistent back in the day as it is now, but I wasn't really gaining much weight still even then. And the reason was because I also wasn't eating the right food. And the uh, the thing I wanna share is like, you don't need to start out doing things right. What is right is just showing up. It's going into the gym. It's watching YouTube on how to build a business. It's starting to go out and try to get clients for a business. That is that is the goal, especially when you're starting out. That is literally, that needs to be your only objective. It, it's not gonna be, you know, hit a certain result or do X, Y, Z. No, just go into the building, go to the gym inside and just look around, okay? Starting a business, just try to figure it out. Like, I listen to business advice, like I watch Alex Ramos and stuff like that now, but when I first started my business, I didn't know shit. I had, I had, I had really no idea what I was doing. Um, and I figured out as I go. And now I kind of understand things like how a business works, you know, marketing, sales, fulfillment, uh, the treasury department, taxes, accounting, well, all that stuff, right? You know, the different departments and stuff. I get the stuff now. I get the corporate terminology even as well from just talking with other business owners, stuff like that. And I've never even had a nine to five that's actually like a career, but I understand their lingo and how things run and operate. Like I can have a talk with, um, for example, my stepdad who's been working at a bank for so long and he'll be talking about it and I'll be like, so this is how it's ran, da 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 He's like, yeah. And you know, I, only, I know this because I built a business and I started to learn how things run and operate. And I did not know that when I started. And that's like the whole reason I'm kind of trying to make this point is because for a lot of you trying to do something, you just need to show up and that needs to be your goal. Your goal needs to be to show up. And that is, that's the objective. And also don't work for the result. The result will come when your when your objective is the input, the actual action of getting things done. I detached myself from my goals. I don't really like I like money. I don't really care about it like that as much as I when I first started my business. I started my business because I had to pay bills. I was about to go broke. That's that's really what got me really moving. Um, and with the fitness, I, I always wanted to be big. I got bullied for being skinny as a kid, so I'm like, 
I want to be big. I want to, I want to, I want to get strong. Right. And I just don't care about that now. Like, is it something I want? Yes. And is is it something I'm going to get? Yes. But do I need it tomorrow? No. And so the goal switched from, I need to be big fast. Cause when I had that mentality or I need to make a bunch of money fast, I was hard to be consistent because when you want that and it's not coming fast cause it won't come fast, you give up. Now, not give up, I've never given up. I always come back, I'm persistent, but consistency is the key. And I've only really been able to unlock that just recently, you know, in the last, whatever, a couple months. And it's seriously, be, it's the time in my life I've been the most detached from uh, my goals or my objectives and what I'm trying to accomplish. And I seriously think it's um, why I've been able to be consistent. And I was also thinking this morning, just sharing my thoughts. Um, kind of why I'm doing what I'm doing now. Cause like, I don't have to, right? I don't have to build a business. I could go work at Walmart. Why not? Right. I could, uh, I don't, I don't have to get fit. I could be skinny. Who cares? Right. Why do I want these things? And I actually woke up last night and it was a, it was a dream of, it was like trauma. Okay. I was in, I was in a classroom and someone was calling me stupid which used to happen. People, people used to call me stupid. And I realized when I woke up, I'm like, dude, that's why I'm so obsessed with like understanding things and be in, and, and becoming better and, uh, becoming ed- better educated. Oh, see, can't even speak becoming more educated. Right. And, um, same thing with money. I didn't grow up with money. Now that's something I want to have as an adult because I have the control to be able to make that happen as opposed to when I was 10, it's a little harder to, you know, go make money right? But I can control that now. And so that's something I want because I was deprived of as at a, as a, at a young age. And I also used to get bullied for being super skinny. I've always been really tall. I'm like six, 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 can't speak again. I'm six foot six right now, right? So naturally my food went to height, not width. And uh, so I've always been really skinny and I've been uh, getting bigger. Um, and I, I, and I realized it's just because like I didn't have it as a kid and people bullied me for being skinny and that's why I want to be big and not just for them, but for myself as well. I want to become a better person. It's not, Oh, I want to make money cause I was broke like in a way, but it's also like, I want to experience it, right? I want to be the person who did not have it and went and got it right. Or, uh, Oh, yo, you're skinny. Okay. Well, I want to be the one for myself to because I also don't want to be super skinny. I do want to get fit. It's not an easy thing. And that's why I love it. Kind of back to what I was saying earlier. And so I don't know. I just, I was just, that just really made me start thinking about why people do what they do. And I feel like for me personally, I'm not going to speak for everybody, but I, I, people I know as well, it's, they usually chase what they lacked in their childhood or their early days in their adult life. And so just food for thought. And the whole passion thing, the only four things I really focus on that actually matter to me in my life, my connection with God, my connection with uh, my actual quality relationships, not fake friends. I'm talking like uh, my girlfriend, my family, real people in my life. Those I care about those relationships. Um, the third one being my career, my businesses, what I'm doing that's revenue generating or money making, whatever the case may be. And then the fourth thing being my fitness, my, my health, my body, right? My spiritual temple. And honestly, what I do in a day-to-day basis, if it's not falling into those four categories, I don't really care. It's not, if it's not serving me or in those four ways, then it's not really something that's actually meaningful. And I had this, I had this mindset or epiphany uh, a few weeks ago. And cause I, I noticed a lot of change in myself and what I was doing is cause I'm just focusing on the four things that actually serve me as a human being and fulfill me. And it's stuff I actually care about. And so the quote that I had in my head just popped in. It's like, I was wondering like, cause I was almost able to repent my old past and I'm going to accredit that to God as well. But I feel like my repentance came from an understanding of that life didn't serve me. So why would I serve it? And when I say serve it, I mean, give it attention, give it my time, give it my energy, my resources. And what did I get back? 
meaningless stuff. And so an example of meaningless stuff is like hanging out with old friends and doing something stupid and not working towards any of those four things. That is one, I'm losing time and opportunity cost because it's time I could have spent working on those four things and making my life better. And then the other way to look at it is it's also has an effect not just on the time you spent, but also the next day. I don't know about you, but if you go out like late with a friend, an old friend, for example, and you stay out till like 3 a.m. and the next day you have work, you're probably gonna struggle to wake up the next day. And even if you do wake up the next day on time, you're gonna be really tired. Your, your focus, your effort towards those four things that you're supposed to be doing in the day, you're gonna really struggle with that. And so was it really worth it? What was it for? It wasn't actually serving you in any way, shape, or form. The only way I see that serving me is realizing that it doesn't serve me and that I need to fix what I'm spending my time on and what I'm prioritizing in my life. And like I said, I just break it down to the four. God, quality relationships, career, and fitness. Your, your, your body and your health. And that also I would, I would characterize that as, as uh, mental health as well because fitness upgrades your mental health. So do the relationships. So does having a fulfilling career, something you uh, uh, actually go through trials and tribulations to do and it grows you as a human being and then god obviously cherry on top everything wouldn't wouldn't be possible without him so yeah that's uh kind of all i wanted to i know i just kind of went over a bunch of different topics in this one video but i've, I've been getting to the point where i want to start like sharing my mindset i've wanted to do that for so long too it's just i i haven't had the discipline to consistently make content and i also don't like making content that i don't want to make and this is the type of content that I do like making. I'm on the way to uh, Asian cuisine. It's a little uh, Chinese restaurant or whatever. And uh, I'm not good with culture. <laughs> um, and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna pop out the camera and just shoot a little video on kind of what's been going on in my mind. It might help some people and hopefully it does. Um, whether this gets five views and helps one person or it gets 20,000 views and helps three. I don't care. Um, if it helps anybody in any way, shape or form, that's, that's worth my 12 minutes of time. So, all right, see you guys later. Peace. Have a good day.